Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this surgery. This is a heart cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the supero-temporal aspect of the limbus. And this is phenocaine which contains gylocaine, tropicamide and phenylephrine. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision, three clock hours away from the main incision. And now is the time to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. I usually do it underneath an air bubble. The dye is undiluted by aqueous, staining is thus very quick. This is adrenaline. This is real time surgery and see within 10 to 15 seconds the staining is complete, probably because of the air bubble. The antechamber is now filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The microscope is OMS 90 from Topcon, no financial interest. Capsulorexis is being done with the help of a uterator forceps. At this time, this air bubble is going to disturb. So I use visco and remove this air bubble. Take the uterator again and complete the rexis. The rexis is not circular, but it is continuous and it is fairly centered and optimum sized size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter. In hard cataracts, size of the rexis should be 5.5 to 6 millimeter. And now, rotation of the nucleus is being done bimanually. Bimanual rotation does not cause much of genular stress. Rotation is complete, visco again and now I am going to divide this nucleus by my technique called submarine chop. Here the phaco needle goes bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and then the nucleus is pushed little down by the chopper and the tip is buried just in front of the main incision into the substance of the nucleus goes through the nucleus just as submarine moves through water reaches near the opposite equator and then the chopper is used to get a very good crack. In this case, I did not rotate it 180 degree, rotated 90 degree and made another chop. And then on more. Here I got a free nuclear fragment and emulsify this. Then I hold this small piece and emulsify this also. Now my plan is to divide this hemineucleus into three to four fragments. This is the first one. This is big, so I divide it again into two pieces. Ultrasonic energy being used is 85% in continuous mode. 
flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. So, after getting the fragments, the fragments uh, are emulsified by the same setting except for the last piece where the parameters will be reduced. And this is the last piece at this time the assistant reduces the vacuum to 350 and flow rate 35. The epinucleus is removed at 350 vacuum and I could remove some cortex also with the same setting 350 vacuum and 35 flow rate. Now, I inject a bit of SPMC and the cortex which is in the upper part is to be removed. This is a 23 gauze Simco and the sub incisional cortex is removed going through the side pole. inject visco because the genule is weak and the posterior capsule tends to come upward. I enlarge the main wound a bit because I am going to use a B cartridge. The lens being used is Technison from Johnson and Johnson, beautiful monofocal lens. Now, the lens is dialed and it is placed in the capsular bag. And now is the time to clean the visco. First, I use 23 gauze Simco. And now, after this, I use bimanual irrigation aspiration cannoli. I usually f do use both Simco and bimanual irrigation aspiration cannoli because I find that thick viscoelastic substance, first, -ish, if we remove with Simco, it becomes gentle. And then, when the viscomolecules are less, then bimanual irrigation aspiration can remove it faster. I always go behind the lens and irrigate the capsular bag, remove all the visco from the capsular bag, from behind the iris, from the angle of the uh, entry chamber. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Then the side port is closed, hydrating corneal stroma. The main wound does not require any hydration in most of my cases. This is final formation of the anterior chamber and then the integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.